A new day begins in the high altitude areas of South, Central and Inner Asia. Here, on the top of the world, herders get up at the crack of down. In this kingdom of rocks and grasses, where agriculture is constrained to a few crops and plots of land located at lower altitudes, extensive animal husbandry forms the basis of indigenous people's livelihood. As if it was a ritual to favor a productive day, women milk the female yak early in the morning. And then, Animals are released to provisionally recover their previous wild existence until late in the afternoon. Time to wander through the adjacent mountain pasture lands, to eat and drink, and to enjoy their own family life. However, for others the working day is just beginning, as they are enrolled in caravans for transport in the absence of roads and trucks. Fulfilled the essential tasks to cover the basic day-to-day -day needs for nourishment, the yak herders again wonder, if it is worth it to switch, since life in the high mountain is not easy. On the other hand, our question is, who are these extraordinary peoples able to produce food and culture at the limits of human habitability? Despite of being the real experts in their own ecosystems, the indigenous communities of High Asia have been and continue to be, invariably marginalized and kept out of the most crucial decision-making processes. Once independent pastoral kingdoms, these formidable civilizations, patiently shaped at the altitudinal limits of the human habitability, have fallen under the orbit of distant urban domains during the last centuries. It is now that many other specialists from outside come to say how these communities have to live, and how they have to adapt to a set of social, economical, and political rules designed in the urban centers, by urban designers, and to the greater convenience of the urban populations. Meanwhile, the great rivers of Asia continue to generously nurture the lowlands where most of the farmers and citizens live. Rivers born in the world's highest mountains and plateaus, the ancestral homeland of yak and the yak herding communities, which are an inherent part of this extraordinary massive fresh water supply system. This is a visual story about this brave people and their daily present day existences, a narrative of human challenges and achievements, but also a spiritual journey across the sumptuous and harsh landscapes of the high Asia biocultural region.